So we have a new travel tripod from uh, our friends over at KNF, uh, KNF Concepts. Uh, they sent this to us. This is their new uh, 60 inch carbon fiber camera tripod, portable travel tripod with 360 degree ball head, detachable monopod. And what I do like about it is it says here, it's, it's capable of holding, it says 17.6 pounds. So that's a, that's a lot of camera and lens. So uh, today we're gonna take a look at what comes in this lovely little box with this new tripod. I'm not 100% sure what the model number is. I'll see if I can find that. And uh, maybe it's this, BA-225, maybe right there, right? BA-225, maybe that's it. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll take a look at the specs, take a look at what comes in here. And uh, I'm going to head out with the family today and we're going to uh, Peggy's Cove here in Nova Scotia. And I figure I'll use this to get some, get some shots of the lighthouse. All right, coming up. So I'm not 100% sure if, uh, right now it says 47% off, and this is on k and Concepts website. So $105.99, uh, I believe this is US dollars. Uh, I will see if I can find this same tripod on Amazon, and of course put the links down below if you guys are interested. But 47% uh, off right now, $105. So let's, let's take a quick look. Um, able to get up to 159 centimeters at full reach, my guess is that's in monopod mode, so it may be a, it may be a little lower when it's in tripod, because of course the feet are gonna come out a little bit, which means the height will drop just a tad. 37 centimeters at a full compression. That's that's pretty awesome. Uh, what else do we have here? We have 2.2 um, pounds, 14 inches. Yep, yeah, I'm with you. Uh, spiral lock system, I really like that. I find the clamp style, which I like for like studio setup cameras, because I find you can really get that tight if it's got a lot of weight on it. Um, but for a travel tripod, I like them being able to open this way because I find it's just faster. And usually you and I aren't uh, carrying, a lot of times, most of us, um, big heavy gear with us, so we wanna be able to set up fairly fast. Uh, I like this too. So eight kilograms or 7.16, 7.6, sorry, 7.6 pounds. Uh, if you see here, you can get this pretty low, right? So legs come out really nice, which is, which is always good. Same shot there. And metal twist lock and these buttons up here, this guy right there, that's gonna be where you and I can get the legs out or hit the little notch points. So yeah, very nice. Convenient and flexible. Yep, detachable monopod. Very cool, 360 degree panorama ball head and high compatibility. Now, I'm taking this out today with like a camera that most of us would use, something for weight wise, just a uh, Canon EOS R with just a 24 to 105, not even the L series, just the STM lens. So not crazy heavy, but when we get back, I may take uh, it out in the backyard just to see how it handles. Um, a setup more like they have here. So I'll take the R, but I'll put a 150 to 600 mil Sigma lens on it. So that's a, that's a little bit heavier. All right, so here's the box right here. As you can see, uh, k and Concept tripods. The box itself doesn't have any indication of a model number on it, not, not that I can see. It has their web address, of course, and a QR code right here if you guys want to use that to take you uh, to their actual website. But let's let's crack it open. So, just like a lot, I'm not going to say all because I, I don't know, but it does come in a nice little travel case, which I love that they do this. So I think that's awesome. And you can tell, like, it's not it's not overly heavy. What do they say for weight? 2.2 pounds, something like that. So that's 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 okay. Yeah, 2.2 pounds. That's that's light, and it's got a nice little you know strap here. You can extend that, of course, but it should be should be comfortable to carry. You do get uh, some Allen keys to tighten it because uh, just like a lot of tripods. They will need tightening over time. Uh, a little bit of 
instruction manuals on how to move the legs around and how to get the actual monopod out. So as you can see, maybe here, one of the legs pops out. It's a leg with looks like with the foam handle that unscrews. Then you can pop the center piece out and that screws on top of the extra leg. We'll actually try that out while we're here. And that's, that's it. That's it, that's all. That is nice and small. Look at that. 14 inches, 14 inches. Like you should have no problems traveling around with that. That is a lovely little tripod for uh, just carrying, carrying stuff around, traveling, right? You're going, you're going on a trip. You're going to Peggy's Cove like I am today. So this comes off. N nothing fancy in regards to a ball head, nice and small. Again, trying to keep the weight down would be my guess. And this, maybe, have we popped it? Nice and tight already. I'm not gonna need to tighten that. But there's those uh, spots with the Allen keys that you can kind of tighten. So on the legs here, uh, and there may be some other spots. There's an Allen key here for the for tightening this if you need to tighten that. So this in itself, at its kind of its lowest, right? Like if you get this in here, let's see if we can find one. I'm, I'm curious. Oh, that's like that's low. That's its first clamp point, like right there. So like once you once you got that in that spot, you're just gonna like right there. So you can get this. Is that it right there? Am I in it? I am. You guys may or may not even be able to see that, but that's that's probably as low as it's gonna get because the length here. Now, I don't know if you could take this off and get this actually on here to get the tripod right down on the head. This, this has gotta be able to come off, right? Um, but standing it, nice and easy, you guys will be able to see this. You just kinda pull it down, push it into its little notch points, right? Find that spot that you want it, wherever. That's where I'm gonna put it right there. Just kinda get it where it needs to be. Very cool. And just so you guys can see, there's, there's the twist legs and they tighten up like really nice. So I like it too because you can just take your hand when you're trying to loosen and just kinda loosen all of them. Right, and then you're just tuk, tuk, tuk. same thing when you're tightening them, right? You just kind of get them up there and give them a good snug, as long as your hand's big enough to to cover them all, right? That, ex that extends. So that's yeah, that's good length. Of course, these ones here at the end can be a little more uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Wim flimsy. I always say, as you need the height, bring them out from the top. Right, so you have the stronger legs or parts of the legs out. Ball head wise, uh, you guys can see it here. Ball head wise, nothing, nothing overly fancy. That's it there, you know. It's gonna spin on the Titan. You have this one here for, right, for for moving this around. This one's gonna move this. This one here is gonna be able to shift the ball head around this way. Right, and then of course, uh, that's that's really that's it. That's it. You know, it's a simple ball head, right? You're gonna use it for video? No, not really. Uh, are you gonna unless you're just using a static, which is what I'm gonna be doing today? Um, and then it has the little notches. You guys can see it there, so you can see like how many degrees you're going around. But I like how light that is. I really do. And I guess if you wanted to take this off. Would you, this leg here, it says just unscrew it. Is that, oh yeah. So this one here, as you can see, you just unscrew, that's it, right? So really, if you wanted to, you could just use it like this and put a ball head on top of it, or you could unscrew this part, which comes off and unscrew it onto this and use it as a monopod. That's nice too, because if you're traveling, the last thing you want is to have to have a tripod and a monopod. Now you've got it all in one. Um, let's let's go out. Yeah, let's go. We're gonna drive a little bit of a little bit of a trek, and uh, we're gonna try it with. Well, this camera over here, you guys probably don't see it, but my Canon ESR uh, with the twenty-four to one hundred five, like I said, STM lens. All right. So let's 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 go for a drive. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, I don't even know if you guys can see me, but it is crazy foggy here, crazy foggy. So I don't know how much shooting we're gonna get, but if we can get some photos, I will. If not, we'll possibly do some in the backyard of the house. Okay, let's go. So it's really hard to uh, shoot here in this much fog. So I'll get a couple more shots and then I, th I think we're gonna head back to the house to do the rest of the review. Okay. Okay, so we're we're back home now, and just so you guys are aware, um, we stopped we stopped at the Southwester for lunch. A little review in a review, uh, and you know since we've been to Nova Scotia, I'm a uh, I've been I, I do the fish and chips quite a bit. Pretty much any new place we go, I give it a try, and uh, the Southwester at Peggy's Cove. In my opinion, uh, not not the best fish and chips. No, it really does feel more like a bit of a uh, tourist trap in regards to you know they know that you're there. Chances are good you're gonna go for something to eat. You're gonna pay to get some fish and chips, and uh, it is what it is, right? Because there's no other really restaurants there. They get a lot of tour buses and that come through. Um, but honestly, probably one of the more expensive fish and chips that I've had. And out of, let's say, the last 10 that I've had, I'd say this was number 8, maybe 9, out of, you know, 1 being the best. This was 8 or 9 for sure. And again, like I said, the most expensive. And, and, it took forever to place our order, forever to get her order. She got my daughter's order wrong um, and she never ever came back to the table after she actually dropped off our our lunch so there you go review within a review uh, if you're going for fish and chips unless it's the only place and you're on a tour bus fine but there's way better places that we've come through to already all right I'm gonna go inside and uh, we're going to set up the camera outdoors here with the big lens to see what we can do all right, so we're back outside. It's uh, hot and muggy here where we live. It was much more refreshing down at Peggy's Cove, but uh, I've got the camera with the big lens on it. What I am gonna do, and what I kind of like, hopefully you, you guys may be able to see that. Um, I am a big fan that they put this kind, just as something that you and I can easily, you know, unscrew. So many of them, you know, you need a screwdriver or something. Not this, because we're definitely going to be moving this up here. Give that a good tighten, right? Now, it does come with Allen keys, so you can snug that up even more, which if this was going on there like permanently, I'd, I'd use the Allen key for sure. Um, but we're going to put that down there. Uh, it worked actually really well at when we were at Peggy's Cove. Uh, I was on some uneven rocks. It's so light. It really is. Like, it's really light. And I think to help keep its weight down, uh, that's why they have this smaller, like, ball head on it. Uh, but, you know what? Again, it does, it does the job. And I like that I can just kind of do this. Now, we're going to get it up at its kind of full extension here. Right? Just kind of, again, there's that one-handed, which I like. Just kind of snug those up there. I'm just going to set it up here to, to do some shooting because not that I'm going to do a whole lot, lot of shooting. This chair's in the way. It's in the way. But just get it out like this. All right. So you guys can get an idea of like the height. And that's the height that it's kind of at before they, this levels up. 
Now, what's cool about this, and I, I didn't even realize this, hopefully you guys can see that. I'm gonna turn this just a little bit. There we go. Uh, this, you know, this here, maybe you can see that. This unscrews, you think it unscrews one of these ways. Yeah. Which allows this to come up. You're like, yeah, that's, that's decent, you know, that's decent. But then, I'm just gonna bring this down so you guys can see it. Then this part here extends again. So now you got that extra length there. And I think this is the piece right here that if you want, you can take this part off for sure to put it onto the monopod, you know, to give you that, that extra bit. So I am going to uh, go down there and we're going to uh, see how steady it is with this big camera. Okay, do we have this as wide as it's going? Wide as it's going. All right, so we've got the tripod mount on here. Yes. Now this just, as far as I know, slides in like this, and then you just snug it up. That's all, nice and easy. So the question is, how well does it hold? Now, let's, let's be honest. When you have this extended, you can see, right? It's got sway. Can you guys see that? I'll turn it this way. There's sway to it, for sure. It's a, a lot of camera on two, you know, pretty thin, it is, thin pieces of carbon fiber. So we're gonna drop that down, tighten that up. And that's, that's gonna be better. And if you wanted to bring this down, you know, like even more so, just to get that neck down there, like that, that'll, that'll snug that up a lot. Right, so if you need the height and you gotta get it up there, so be it, it is what it is. Uh, I'm gonna shoot like that, and I'm gonna shoot just over here, and it's really just uh, a flower. So I'm gonna use my screen, turn this on, okay. And again, we're gonna just use this to kinda get this where it needs to needs to go. I'm too close for focus. Let's go back to this one, I think. There it is. I got it. Ready? Cool. Let's zoom in a little bit. We're at about 500 right now. And we'll go up to 600. I think that's good. I think that's good. Now you guys will be able to see it too. I'll just do this. I'll just kind of come back here and we'll go into like a video mode. I don't know how good this is going to be to be honest with you. But we're in we're in pretty tight. So I'm just going to let that do its thing. And my guess is there's going to be a bit of shake because I'm on a deck that's got a bit of movement. But if you were to set this on a timer, I think that would be that would be okay. It looks it looks actually really good right here. Not not a lot of movement. Now again, if you were up higher and you had any kind of wind uh, in video, in video you probably want a little bit of a heavier uh, style tripod. But as you can see, if I'm moving this, you can see it moving on the screen a little bit. A little bit of the, the IS 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 taken in to try to help it. Now, if we brought this all the way back out to like 150, we kind of brought that over there. Yeah, I still think that's like that's a nice shot, right? Yeah, right there. And now at like a 150, I don't think you're going to have much issues at all keeping this nice and steady. So, you know, a 200 or less for sure. I don't think there'd be any problem with this kind of footage. I'll bring it over here actually just to get another shot so you guys can see it just get a shot like that something a little different you know there's some bees down there I don't know if I can get the bees fun part is trying to figure out where they are maybe right there I don't know for sure there's somewhere in that area but that's going to put a little bit of weight on the camera pointing down. 
And again, you can see that it has no problems holding that camera there. So even with this big lens on it, it's holding that okay. And let's do a little bit of a zoom in. And still, you know, it holds it holds it pretty good. Again, I'm not moving this, but this is a travel tripod, right? So I think that's that's really good. All right, guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave you there. It has no real issues holding this lens at all. So if you're looking for a travel tripod, carbon fiber uh, for photos, for sure, this is really good. Just realize if you are uh, shooting video on it, uh, it does have a little bit of wobble. So you want to make sure that after you hit that record button, you give it a few seconds to kind of you know stop stop its movement. So. All right, guys, that's it. I'm going to put links down below to this tripod from KNF. Uh, and thanks to KNF for sending it to us. Yeah. All right, my friends. Uh, like, comment, share, subscribe, and we'll see you fine folks tomorrow. Later, guys.